What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing? Uh, on this fine, cold morning. <laughs> um, we are going to uh, be making a snowplow for the front end of the Dooley Sears. As you see, I've already kind of started working with it, you know, collecting wood and stuff for fire. Um, yeah, I have a template here of what we're going to be doing, but we're going to make it out of this uh, angled aluminum and I can't for the life of me remember where I got this but uh, there's one piece right here and then there's another really long piece underneath it and it's really strong and it's incredibly lightweight which is why I chose to do this plus I had a little bit of it uh, a little bit of a, the stock lift and uh if you hadn't uh, recognized, it also helped me to build the frame for my hitch, which has really held up nicely. So it's, like I said, I mean, it's got a lot of strength to it, and it's incredibly lightweight. But, uh, yeah, let me show you this little template I drew up last night of it. Of the, what I call the DIY snowplow. It looks like a whole bunch of chicken scratch, but let me make this simple for you. Oops. Alright, so this right here is the front of the tractor, as you can you know, tell. For the base of it, it's going to be going off that little hole right there. So what we're talking about, get the camera focused, here we go, is running the angle aluminum a little bit. Um, over here, I'm going to make some measurements here in a second with that um, flipped to a certain side. And with this, one of these flat tops facing upwards like that, I'm going to go into the shop and, and find. I was talking. Damn dogs. Anywho, um. I'm going to find a piece of um, flat steel plate to go right here for um, rigidity to strengthen it up. You know, drill two holes in it for to mount it on. This is going to be requiring no welding at all. This is just nut and bolt type st stuff. And um, the reason I did steel plate is so that it won't bend because right here in the center of it, you can see that little mark right there. And that's a sim that's symbolizing an eye bolt. I'm going to drill a hole in the center of it. I'm going to go to hardware store and get me a little a uh, little wheel pulley and mount it right here. I'm going to have my winch, my wet shift winch, come up and run down to where the snowplow will be, so it'll lift it and you know whatever have you. Yeah, that's for the eye bolt mechanism. And as you can see, you know, the, the right strap and the brush guard right there. Okay, so what I've kind of come up with here is a little bit after this point, um, I'm going to go a little bit more. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to flip, um, flip the angled aluminum around to where... What was facing going like this is not going to be facing going like that. For a plate that I have that I cut off the back of another lawn tractor, uh, I'm going to go get it. It's in the shop over there. Um, I'm going to mount it to that as well. And then I'm going to, you know, drill three set holes in it. I'm going to flatten out that, you know, trailer hitch part of it. And this right here is the, the plow, which is what I'm going to be using as a plow right there. I bought that at, uh, I think the, um, I'll think of it here in a second. It's not the Goodwill. It's um, Habitat for Humanity. I bought that at the Habitat for Humanity um, a few months back in Moxville. They had that sitting in the back, and they didn't even know they had it, to be honest with you. 
until I pointed out like, hey, how much would you get? How much would you give for it? Because I had the exact, you know, idea for it to make that into a snowplow for the tractor. But uh, yeah, so um, just you know, kind of making sense of it all for you. But um, yeah, this is not going. This this video won't be going up today. This will be going up another day because this is. If I had to guess, it's probably not going to be a one-day job just because of the weather. It's colder than snowman's testicles out here. But uh, anyway, uh, that's about what it looks like. Just about. And it's going to look a lot more simpler when I start actually making the measurements and all that and whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Um, um, I'll get started and uh i'll see y'all in a little bit all right so we're back um i've got a few pieces of it cut i got my little rigidity rigidity um piece right there i'm just gonna cut it off of that i got my plate right there and i got my two pieces these are roughly around two foot each there's one of them a little bit longer and the other one just cause I can't cut with the crap, but it'll be fine. Um, I have decided that this will be a two-part video. So, uh, I will be uploading this today. Uh, and I'll make another video tomorrow of this thing. Uh, me finishing it, hopefully. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be part one of it. So, um... Yeah, that's uh, going to be about all for it for us today. Um, as always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're stopping it for the first time, please subscribe for more. Um, have a good day.